Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the Daily Challenge for June 25th, 2024. The character at the Iron Clan and the modifiers are Heirloom, start with one rare relic. Diverse cards are not restricted by your character, and Lethality you start each combat with plus 3 strength, and all enemies start each combat with plus 3 strength. I see Hita doing really well here with 1306, followed by Goldberry with 1232. Not bad, Goldberry uh, wasn't doing so well the last few days, so I'm glad to see him very high up. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. I should also say I'm uh, using a different set of headphones for a few days, and uh, wow, I sound different here. Ooh, look at that, rare relic do it all for each curse in your deck start each combat with one strength so that means i do want to go for a curse run which also probably means i should try oh no with diverse i have to try to go for Highlander, so i uh, can't really go crazy with curses can't have any duplicates uh, there's unfortunately only one two lead path on the left that's actually a little disappointing um yeah that's a bummer all right up until this first elite i can get two question mark rooms unfortunately that will force me to have an early shot but i guess that's fine and then afterwards, I'll get an extra question mark in here and then two more, so a total of five, which is not bad. But yeah, it's a bummer. I'll have to go for that shop, uh, first shop with only like less than 150 HP usually, right? Uh, here, 27 is not enough. Let's double defend and one strike. My final boss is the Guardian. So with the extra strength, that's going to be annoying. This arm would be something I would really like to pick up as soon as I can. And then maybe, yeah, lots of good defensive cards. That's the only way I think to perfect. Okay. All right, got an explosive potion, carnage, setup, consume. Carnage is pretty good. I don't think I need. Well, I definitely don't need to consume. Setup is probably not necessary. Let's take the carnage first. And then here I got the cultist. Yeah, it's a shame that I got both bash and carnage together. Let's do carnage and strike, and then two more strikes should be enough. Beautiful. Okay. Got a power potion, leap, eviscerate, swap boomerang. So this will benefit from the uh, from the strength I have, but. I don't have any discards. So we're is probably better, although I did just say I was going to pick up more defensive cards, huh? Yeah, I can't afford any of the relics, although I guess I don't need Chemical X and the others are too expensive. Rule with Holes with the extra strength is pretty good. Let's take that, and then I can afford one more card. I think that should be the chill. Give me at least the Frost Orb, especially if I can get it upgraded. It would give me an early Frost Orb, which might be useful. All right, here I got my first Curse Pain, as well as Warp Tongues at the start of your turn. Upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat, which is good. And then here I got the Lice. This one isn't buffing itself, but there's no way I can get the uh, get overkill, right? So, uh, wait. Uh, I guess I can kill one of them with two strikes, okay? And then I can kill the other one with uh, more strikes or something like Sword and Ring. Good. Okay. All right, Flurry Blows Cold Snap. Oh, that's inter interesting, the Cold Snap. Because I have a chill. Let's take it. I also don't really like the other cards. All right, here I got the Sentries. Really would have loved to have that chill. Um... Nothing I can do to perfect this one. I do have an explosive potion, right? Can I do something with it? Uh, is the power potion able to give me anything that might allow me to perfect? I still have an elite after this, right? So, um, let me see what the sword boomerang hits first. Yeah, if it hit the, the one in the middle, I might have had a chance. I could have killed it. But as it stands, I, I think I'll save the potions and try to perfect the next elite instead. Because this one was going to be really difficult anyway. All right, well, at least this turn I can fully defend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, Riddle with Holds is a lot of damage. Good, let's do that. And then the Strike, alright. Mm -hmm. And then another 23. That should be doable. Beautiful. Alright, survive this one. We got Tungsten Nod. One of you would lose HP, lose one less. That makes the pain much easier to handle. I think now I'll take a defensive card, and that probably should be the Auto Shields, not the Leap. Okay. And then here, I should upgrade the Chill first. See, if I was upgraded in the previous fight, I think I would have been able to correct that one. Alright, Legavulin, uh, anything I want to wait for? I probably want to wake it up with uh, a good attack card, so yeah, let's... I don't, I don't think there's anything specific I should wait for, but I could I could delay it. Yeah, maybe Bash is not a bad idea. Next turn I have Carnage. I don't think I have a chance of perfecting, but let's try it. Sword Boomerang. Yeah, that's 30 damage, alright. With the Vulnerability, Riddle Withholds will deal a lot of damage, right? That's 50. Uh, this is 36. Yeah, I definitely want to do Riddle Withholds. A Strike is 15. I'm one short. From being able to use the uh, explosive potion to kill. I use the power potion. What would that give me? It would have to give me a wraith form for, for me to be able to use it. Oh, look at that. If I Wait, if I do... No, if I had a thousand cuts sooner, I would have been able to kill with the explosive potion. Oh, that's a shame. I kind of want to reload. I should have realized that because um, I don't have any elites coming up. And I'm sure I'll get enough potions before the boss. So there's no reason to hang on to my power potion. Although I guess if I was smart, I should play it at the beginning and it gave me different things interesting so the only way to really perfect is to play it right at the end because i just need one extra uh, one extra card to deal extra damage right 
So fine, uh, let's do everything the same way and just play it before playing a strike. So here I did bash sword boomerang, okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I did riddle with holds. And then I just need to... Yeah, a thousand cuts, it just shopped this time, good. And now I can throw the explosion potion, awesome. Alright, perfect this one, although I had to reload. And sure can every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. The leap, dagger throw, or hologram. I worry I might need to pick up more defensive cards, so I don't think I'll take the dagger throw. Let's take the leap instead. And then here I got Tori and Thopter. I'm going to use the potion, heal 5 HP, which is good. And here I got another shot where I can't afford anything. Uh, well, any relics, I mean. Black Sweep is a great defensive card. I should take it. And the only other card I can afford is the dagger throw, which is fine. And then going left or right? Well, I definitely don't need another shop. Yeah, let's go left. I really don't want to hit another shop, so I'll take a uh, rest side instead. Let's do Chill, Leap, Defend, and then a Strike. Okay. Yeah, Act 2 is going to be hard with all the extra strength the enemies will have. Uh, this is 35. Not quite enough to kill the backliner, but... Um, you know what? I could also just kill this one. Ah, this is annoying. Fine. Let's do Riddle with Holds. All right. I'll accept the damage. I should have played a defensive card. There's no reason to lose HP there. And then here I can do Kill You with the Carnage and You with the Sword from Ring. Okay. All right, uh, Halt, Rebound, or Pummel Strike. Pummel Strike seems like a good card draw card. Let's take it. Mm -hmm. And then here, Lex Sweep might be a great upgrade for the upcoming boss. Yeah, the extra turn of, turns of weakness, the block, might be really useful. Still would like to get a Disarm if I can do that. Uh, let's do Chill, almost fully defended that way. I could do Carnage and kill with a Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then not being attacked here, Sword Boomerang, Strike, that's enough. Beautiful. Got a fear in the bottle, which I might keep for Act 2. I might need it. Backflip, Compile Driver, or Choke. Definitely not Compile Driver. Backflip is interesting. I don't think I'll need Choke. Choke is better if I had more energy or more zero-cost cards, which I don't. Drift cards would be great. Here, let's double strike. The enemy will transform at 35. Uh, no, 34. Uh, let's get rid of the pain. Oh, it'll transform. Can I play another attack? Yeah, I'm losing the carnage, which is a shame. Mm hmm and then 22 incoming. I can kill one of them with a bash and cold snap. Yeah, I'll accept some damage. That's fine. All right, another 23. Riddle with holes is enough. Good. All right, lesson learned. Interesting. Do I want that? I still don't think I'll take a viscerate. Although, again, it's going to be 30 or no 33 damage for three energy though. That's expensive. I do have one discard card already though. The dagger throw, right? I don't think that's enough. Could take lesson learned, upgrade a few cards, and then remove it. Yeah, let's try that. All right, sorry about that. What should I upgrade here? Dagger throw is interesting. Not really. I wonder if I should upgrade Riddle with Holes. It's not that much more damage. Sword Boomerang. I'm not sure. Carnage might be good, just to deal damage. Or should I upgrade defensive cards? You know what? Let me upgrade the auto shields. Yeah, against the upcoming boss, I might need as many defensive cards as I can, so let's upgrade those. All right, so uh, let's start off with Chill Dagger Throw. All right, not the best start, but fine. I should be able to easily transform, just need 13 damage next turn. Uh, ooh, Leg Sweep is really tempting. Wait, I can't transform if I do Leg Sweep, although with weakness, actually I don't have enough defense, so I think I have to do Bash and Strike here, which is a shame because this means next turn I don't have the Leg Sweep, don't have weakness. And then, of course, I draw this hand. Great. Nothing I can do, absolutely, right? Yeah, just a turn where I didn't have any defensive cards. That's a shame. All right, in that case, let's do 50 or 36. Let me do the Carnage to not lose it, and then Sword Boomerang. Yeah, it's a bummer. I think, I don't know, I, I feel like I picked up enough defensive cards, so I don't really know what I could do differently. Um, Yeah, I think this one was going to be difficult. I just needed to get a little lucky, and I just didn't, which is fine. I might have transformed with Bash Sword Boomerang, right? I just realized. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, at this point, since I'm not perfecting, I think I'll try to use the Lesson Learn if I can. So I'll, I'll be willing to accept some damage. Um, let's do a strike here. Okay. Nine incoming. I can do carnage. A dagger throw. All right. And then lesson learned does require me to do a little bit extra damage first. Let's do dagger throw again. Then if I do backflip, I won't be able... Uh, if I get the lesson learned, I might not be able to kill with it. But I think now if I got the lesson learned... Yes, beautiful. Awesome. All right, I got, a, I got a defend upgraded, which is not really worth the 100 points I lost there. Juggernaut, Ragnarok, Creative AI. I wonder if I should go for rare cards. 
Uh, not a huge fan of any of these, so let's try to go for Popper, even though so far that's not really been working out for me. Um, Slivers Collar is always interesting. I don't think I'll take Philosopher's Stone or Busted Crown. Let's take these Slivers Collar dur during boss and lead combats, get extra energy at the start of your turn. It's a pretty safe relic. doesn't have any downsides, basically. All right. Did I see a three lead path? One, two, three. Yes, left side has a three lead path. Right side only two leads. Uh, if I go on the left side, I'll get three, four crush rooms, which is not as much as I'd like, but a decent amount. Okay. All right, Spheric Guardian. Let's start off with a uh, Dagger Throw first. Okay, then Riddle Withholds and chill. All right. I tried to use the Lesson Learn again if I can. Uh, let's do Carnage and Cold Sun will kill, right? So let me do Leap and then really hope I get the Lesson Learn next turn to avoid taking much more damage. Or I can do Auto Shields, Backflip, and uh, of course the Lesson Learn had to show up there. Ah, boy. Do I want to wait for a Reshuffle? And we will gain more block, right? At least I can almost... No, I can't fully defend, which is good. So I'll, I'll give it a little bit extra time. 23. Um, let's do Dagger Throw. Oh, boy. I guess I'll do Leg Sweep. I'll accept a little bit more damage and then hopefully... Nope, still no lesson learned. Leap, defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. 25. There is a lesson learned, but now I can't play it. Ah, God damn it! All right, fine. Let's just kill. All right, lost a lot of HP for no good reason. Sneaky Strike is interesting. I j just a shame that so far I just have the Dagger Throw as my discard synergy. So I think I'll take the Infernal Blade instead. Okay. And then here, I don't think I can go for Collector Monosis, so let's reject this. Also, I don't really need that many bites. All right, Shell Parasite. Let's do Pummel Strike first, then Chill. Um, I think I'll do Sword Boomerang and then Defend. Don't want to lose too much HP here. Another 18. Uh, Rule of Withholds is really nice, but not enough. Uh, so I think instead I'll do a Leg Sweep. And then, uh, yeah, let's do Leap. Unfortunately, I'm losing the Carnage, right? Mm -hmm. Another 15. This is with weakness, right? All right. Infinite Blades gave me a Meteor Strike, which is awesome. Okay. Then I can do Dagger Throw. Uh, let me draw cards with the backflip. Oh, I was hoping for offensive cards. This is enough to kill that. Good. Could have waited for Lesson Learn, but it's fine. We got a Strength Potion, Sword from my Cloak and Nagger, go for the S. I already have this. Between these two, Cloak, Cloak and Nagger seems like a good idea. And then here, I could upgrade... Uh, probably not the Lesson Learn, right? Upgrade the Carnage, Bash, Sword from Lots of good options here. Let's upgrade the Cloak and Nagger. That gives me an extra Shiv. An extra... What is that? 7 damage? Mm -hmm. No, 8 damage, right? Because of the Dude all. Alright, 30 incoming here. Uh, let's do Chill, Dagger Throw. I'll get rid of the Carnage, because I think I'll try to defend here as much as I can. Okay. Another 30. Uh, yeah, Leg Sweep is great here. We'll bring it out to 21, right? I think I can do Auto Shields and Leg Sweep. Okay. And then here, let's do Bash, Pummel Strike. Not having extra energy is annoying, though. I guess in Elite Fights, I will have extra energy, right? Riddle with Holds is enough to kill. Any reason to wait Lesson Learned? No, no. I, I will take. I will lose too much HP if I wait for a Lesson Learned. Got a Swift Potion, Poison Snap, Claw, Evaluate. Evaluate is a solid defensive card. Let's take that. All right, Slavers, I have the energy, but can I do something good with it? Let's do Auto Shield Chill. So I'm being attacked for 2036. I have 27. Leg Sweep is enough. Uh, oh, I, guess, I guess I can't play the lesson learned, but yeah, fine. Let's do Leg Sweep U and then Fiendfire U as well. Okay. Will I be able? I could have considered using a potion, but I'm not even sure what to use here. 25 incoming. This is 30. With the Strength Potion, I'm weakened too. I might be 35. Not quite enough. Although then, I think I have to do it. Let's do the Strength Potion, then 35. Um, no, I don't have enough. Is there anything else I can draw? Not really, right? You know, because I, I had to kill this one and play the Cold Snap, but then also play a Defend, which I can't do. At least I can kill this one, though, so that helps me preserve some HP at least. But the next round, I won't be able to play any attacks. Yeah, this one, this one was tough. Let's do Backflip, Evaluate. At least I can play all defensive cards here. That's useful. Okay. And then another 26. Carnage is 27. Uh, here, let's do Bash Carnage. Since I'm already not able to perfect... Did I waste my lesson learned? I did, right? I exhausted it at the beginning. All right, fine. Okay, another 10. Let's do Cloak and Dagger Insight. Hoping to get some good attacks. Dagger Throw. Another Cloak and Dagger. All right. That should be... Is that enough to kill? Yes, beautiful. All right, got Calipers at the start of your turn with 50 block rather than all few block, which is nice. This was an Ancient Potion, and I don't think I need Loop or Warcry or Bane for that matter. I guess of these, Warcry is the best, although, yeah, not super happy with that. 
Venturian Mystic. Is there a way for me to get overkill? No, but I definitely want to use the lesson learned here. So let's do chill, like sweep, then strike. And then I'll wait for a reshuffle. So I'll probably keep the backliner at low HP so I can always or I can use the lesson learned whenever I draw it. Uh, here, I hate to use the Carnage, but I think I'll do Riddle with Holtz instead, and then just Dagger throw the Carnage, so that way... Or actually, I can Warcry it, right? Um, yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's Warcry the Carnage back, that way I'll have it... Uh, I misclicked. Fine, fine, I misclicked. I should have had that um, Carnage next turn, that would have allowed me to kill. But hopefully, I'll be able to kill with a Sword Boomerang instead. Uh, yes, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Alright, not being attacked, let's do Bash. Let me be careful not to accidentally kill... I want to wait for the lesson learned to show up again. Uh, let's do cold snap. And yeah, see the strike will kill. So let's do backflip instead. I just really hope. Okay, uh, I don't think I'll, need, I'll do infernal blade. Mm -hmm. All right, 26. Let's do pummel strike. Nope, still wait. I'll do evaluate for an extra insight. Mm -hmm. 23, normal vulnerability. Um, let's do insight here. Bash, okay. Oh, I'm being attacked. I did not even notice. All right, fine. And then there's the lesson learned. Good. I got a strike upgrade. That's actually disappointing. <laughs> setup, double energy, or leap. Double energy might be useful. I already have the leap, and I really don't need the setup. Uh, next, I think I'll upgrade the Infernal Blade. No, let's upgrade the Carnage. It does deal a lot of damage. Especially if I get a way to enter Wrath. That would be amazing. A tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room... Uh, sorry. Fourth question mark room is a treasure room. Now, if I take it, it might make it harder to get curses. So I think I'll reject it. Last time I rejected it, I also missed Alex Shiny because of that. So let's hope that gamble is worth it. All right, everyone is attacking me here. Let's see what the Warcry gives me. I was really hoping for a good defensive card. Uh, let me try the Swift Push as well. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing I can do here. Uh, let's see what the Infernal Blade gives me. That's a Flechette, uh, which is enough to kill one of them. Hang on, one, two, and then a Strike is enough to kill the other one, right? So let's at least kill the minions by doing Flechettes. A Basic Strike. Oh, I should have done Chill first. Would that make a difference? So Chill would give me an extra 10 block. That would be 27. Wow, that would be exactly enough. That was silly. I don't know why. I think I was hoping maybe I'll get an auto shield, so I don't want to play the chill first. But no, there's no reason to, especially after I drank my potions, my uh, swift potion, I mean. So let me do this again. So it doesn't matter what I put back. Let's grab this. Yeah, I just want to play it everything the same way. All right, so now play the chill first. Oh, but then the flechette. No, flechette is still enough to kill this one. All right, so there is a reason, but not a good reason. Then do strike, then evaluate, then defend. And that's exactly 27, which is what I need. Beautiful. Yeah, should have been more uh, attentive there. Uh, Carnage and Riddle Withhold seemed like a great idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then another 27. Come on, at least now I have auto shields. That's useful. Let's do auto shields. Backflip. Okay. Uh, so I need 27 plus 7, which is 34. I have 25. Oh, that's 34 again. Beautiful. Fully defended, right? Yeah, awesome. Just have to be careful not to attack the Mad Grumman to avoid getting it, uh, giving it extra strength. All right. Okay, and then here, yeah, yeah, let's do double energy. I have the insight as well, All right? Then I can do sword boomerang, cold snap, actually, yeah, let's do cold snap, a regular strike to kill you, another strike to kill you, and then I'll do leg sweep in case I get attacked, so that the weakness which should be useful. Another 27, uh, at least I got leg sweep, okay, and cloak and dagger, beautiful, awesome. All right. And then 26 should be fairly doable here. All right. I had to reload, but I was able to perfect this one. We got Ink Bottle. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw one card. Last night, Poison Stab or Loop. I will try to continue go for Pomper, and I really don't need Loop, so I guess I'll take the Poison Stab, which yeah, it's basically just a glorified attack card, right? Or a glorified strike, I should say. Uh, let's do Chill here. Double Energy. Carnage is 32. Uh, yeah, sure. And then a Strike. Mm -hmm. All right. And then lots of incoming here. Let's do Cloak and Nagger, kill you with a Shiv, then do uh, Bash Shiv. Okay. So I'll take a little bit of damage here, but the vulnerability should help me next turn. My Infernal Blade gives me Sands of Time, uh, which is fine. Let's do Sword Boomerang first. Oh, wow. I got the lesson learned and I can't use it. And I don't think I want to reshuffle. Uh, 37 versus 25. Yeah, let's kill this one. And then I'll do the upgraded defense. I know, should I wait for a reshuffle in that? Um, actually, I mean, so far I can fully defend. Let's do auto shields, leg sweep, and... Oh, right, I don't have energy. Hmm. Another 13. Uh, let's do evaluate. All right, cold snap, war cry. 
and then pummel strike. Oh, I, uh, well, let's wait maybe two turns. And if I get the lesson learned, then, you know, I'll be good. We do the inside here. Um, I guess I can do leg sweep. Okay. I can kill any time with the sense of time, right? Uh, well, okay. I'll accept one turn of damage. So let's take, what is that? Three damage here. And then, okay. I can still fully defend this turn as well. All right. And please, yes, thank you. All right, got the lesson learned, and I got a Swarp Boomerang upgrade. Finally, useful upgrade. Deadly Poison, Endless Agony, or Second Wind. Um, I don't really need, need Deadly Poison. Endless Agony might be good with the um, with the Shuriken, but Second Wind might be better to get rid of the... Well, right now I only have one curses, uh, Curse, but hopefully I'll get more Curses. All right, another 21. I might consider defending here again, so let's evaluate Leap, Chill, and Defend. Okay. Could have done Warcry if I wanted to, but not losing any HP here, which is good. And then let's do Sword Boomerang at the end, right? So Strike, Poison Stab, and then Sword Boomerang. Okay. okay. Alright, another 30. Um, I don't think I can kill here, right? Because I'm weakened as well. Let's do Backflip. Oh, I only have... I'm frail, so Backflip only gives me 3 block, which is not enough. Let me play the Shifts first. Then, yeah, no, I don't have enough to kill. Let's do Backflip. I think I'll have to do Second Wind here. Let me do Inside first. Fine, let's do second wind. It's barely giving gives me block. Fine. Mm -hmm. And then here, ooh, can I kill with the lesson learned? 11, 12 is 20. I think that should be enough, right? Lesson learned is uh, 11. Yeah, beautiful. I got a lesson learned upgrade. Fine. I, I still would like to remove it on like three follow up, low ball lightning or body slam. I don't have a lot of block for body slam. So between ball lightning and follow up, I guess I'll take the follow up, right? Flavors again. Ugh. All right, so at least I start off. Let's start with uh, backflip first, then chill. How much do I need again? At 36, right? I have a 20, 26. I sort of need to kill something as well, which seems very difficult to do. See what the pummel strike gives me? Ooh, a little too late for a double energy. If I got that a little sooner, I might have been able... No, never mind. I can kill the backliner. Awesome. All right, got lucky there. Mm -hmm. I'm weakened and I got 25, right? And I don't have enough defense. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here again. It's such a shame. I feel like I'm doing so well. And then it, um, you know, one turn of doing poorly causes me. Uh, yeah, fine, fine. Nothing I could have done here. All right, uh, here, I don't even think I'll do... Uh, well, let's do follow-up to kill this one. Then do riddle withholds. So I probably would kill... Actually, let's pull the defense. I'll wait for the lesson learned again to show up. Yeah. Uh, leap and wait. Uh, lesson learned is... Wait, did I... Exhausted? No, it's in my discard pile. Okay, fine. So I'll have to wait for it uh, quite a bit longer. Let's evaluate. All right. I think I'll speed this up. I'll write back when I have the lesson learned. All right, there it is. Let's play the lesson learned and get backflip upgraded. That's slightly better. You also got ornamental fan. That really makes me want to take more shift cards. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Doomungum is interesting. I haven't gotten overkill yet, right? So this might be a way for me to get overkill. Also, it's kind of nice AoE damage. Yeah, here, let's get overkill with the Doom and Gloom. Um, yep. So I will start off with... No, let's do Chill first, and then Doom and Gloom. Then Pummel, Strike, War Cry. Probably put the... Um, let's put the Bash back here. I think I'll just have to wait, right? Let's kill the Centurion, then wait for the uh, Dark Orb to deal... Uh, to be able to deal enough damage. So yeah, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Okay, that took me a while, mostly because I uh, accidentally evoked the Dark Orb, and then I drew the Doom and Gloom when the enemy didn't have enough HP, so I had to wait for a few cycles, but finally I'm able to deal more than 100 damage. I hope that was worth it. Recursion Hologram or Kulothan? I think Hologram seems like a decent card. I know I was offered it before, but I'm glad to take it now. All right, uh, I don't think I'll upgrade the Doom and Gloom anymore, because I already got Overkill out of it. Um, do I want to upgrade the Bash? The Vulnerability is useful. Second win might be really nice too, especially, hopefully, once I get more Curses. Okay. Alright, Bronze Automaton. Um, well, yeah, might as well start with Chill, two strikes. Uh, should I do... Let's do Leap and Defend. That will give me a little bit extra block next turn. Might make a difference. 20 incoming. Uh, no, did not make a difference, actually. 
something else I could have done. Not really. Yeah, again, wait, hang on. I can evoke the uh, Frost Orb. That's 9, 10. Yeah, that is actually exactly enough. Good. Unfortunately, I will lose the Carnage because of that, though. All right. Okay, this one took second wind. I would like to get that back. Backliner took Riddle with Holds. Now I have 22 incoming. All right, let's do Auto Shields. Uh, Leg Sweep. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do Defend here. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, I'll... Actually, will I save any block? I'll save three block. Fine. 26. There's a hologram that I can use to get the Leg Sweep back. Let's do Cloak and Dagger first. Lady Shifts. Wait, this one took the uh, Riddle with Holds, right? Which I probably don't need. Oh, boy. How do I do this? Um... Well, I can definitely hologram something. What should that be, though? Let's do the shifts first. Okay, there's a backflip, too. If I do backflip, that's 17. Hologram would be 22. It's almost enough. So I don't... Actually, I can hologram the Cloak and Dagger. Let's do that. Because that will give me enough block and also um, more strength. And also kills the backliner, which is nice. All right. Hmm. And two turns, just a big attack. I'm not sure how to handle that one. Let's do follow-up. Uh, Infernal Blade gives me Predator, which is very useful next turn. Um, I can do... What's coming up here? So we're double energy. Uh, should I save it for next turn? Because I have extra card draw next turn. Yeah, let's do let's do Bash to kill this one. Then um, Warcry... Well, actually, next turn I'm guaranteed the double uh, double energy, right? So I think I'll just do Swarpering and won't play the Warcry. Just really hope for the best next turn. Okay. All right, 54 incoming. I have extra card draw. I have double energy. I still think that's not enough, right? So if I do auto shields... No, let's do double energy first. Then auto shields, insight, okay. A lot of attack damage, but not enough to kill. Let's do bash, cold snap, and then, yeah, there's nothing I can do to feed. Well, hang on. If I do the two defense, no, yeah, not even close. All right, fine. Uh, in that case, let's do riddle with holds. I guess I could have gotten a little bit extra block with the doom and gloom. Three extra block, but that would not have been enough. At least I saved my favorite bottle. But yeah, this one, again, maybe theoretically possible, but really hard for me to perfect this one. Um, anything? Actually, do I have the... Uh, I guess I can do another Riddle with Holds. Alright. 32. Uh, Lex Sweep is kind of nice. Uh, wait. 24. Um, I can... Wait, can I defend with the defend? So the first 16 I'm defending, the second 16 will deal 15 damage to me if I have to defend. No, it's not going to be enough, right? Yeah, I'll lose. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, let's do Poison Stab and Strike. Okay. Alright. Yeah, look at that. I did have to use that fair in a bottle. Um, can I kill with the lesson learned here? 32, 52. Yeah, I can double strike and then lesson learn. All right, fine. At least I got an upgrade of a cold snap. Fine, we got a dex potion. Feed, creative AI, juggernaut. It might be a little too difficult to use the feed. I already have a rare card I need to remove. I would need to use the feed five times. Okay, fine. Maybe that's possible. Let's take it. And then Pandora's box might give me a rare card. Let's avoid that. Sneko Eye or Sacred Bark. I, Snekoi, I do have a few high cost cards. The Doom and Gloom Bash, Lesson Learned, to Leg Sweep, and Riddle with Holds and Carnage. So that's six. And zero cost cards, I have the Double Energy Warcry. Um, still. Ooh, so from that calculation, Sneko would make sense, but I think I'll play it safe and take the Sacred Bark, double the effectiveness of potions. Yeah, mostly Sneko might sometimes give you something amazing and other times give you something horrible. At least with uh, Sacred Bark, it's more consistent. All right, two lead path on the left and the right. If I go on the left, I'll get an early shop, and then one, two, three, four, five crush mark rooms. If I go on the right, I'll get uh, one, two, three, four crush mark rooms. So I have to go on the left. Unfortunately, I think I'm one crush mark room short from being able to get the uh, mystery mission modifier, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, here, let's do chill, dagger throw. Um, I think I can fully defend with the leg sweep. I don't think I need double energy. Although it would allow me to play an extra strike, so might as well do that. Okay. Hmm. Right, everyone is attacking me here. Infernal Blade gives me Thunderclap, which is fine. Um, I Can I kill the backliner? 19. Yeah, I can. Um, a leap will save me 12 block. Killing the backliner will give me 4 and save me 10, so that's better. Hmm. Also give me, giving me extra strength for later. Uh, let's do a free follow-up, then Carnage to kill you. Okay. War cry to... Well, I think I'll draw it again, right? Yeah. And then do Pommel Strike. Okay. Ah, there's the feed. It's going to be really hard to feed on the Dark Links because I have to feed on the last one standing. Um, here, let's do Auto Shields Backflip. Okay. So maybe the right approach is to deal... Uh, here, let me do Cold Snap to avoid taking any damage. 
the right approach is maybe to deal enough damage so that I can easily kill all of them. And I just hope I draw the feet on. Oh, actually, wait. I can hologram the feet, but now, now I, have, I don't have enough, right? That's a shame. All right, let's do Sword Boomerang. All right, and then... Um, actually, I could have hologrammed the... Uh, no, I already used double energy, right? Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's do Bash here. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, back line, I just need 13 damage. Riddle with Holds, I could also just finish it here. Let's do Sword Boomerang. Oh, that was enough to kill. Yeah, that's fine. It was going to be really hard to feed anyway. Do I want Serving Fury? I would be able to enter Wrath and not exit it. No, I think Rage is safer, and I already have the backflip, so I'm not going to take that. Here, I, I'm not, not sure if I need my Blast Hand of Greed. Should I just give up on Popper? Because I need to remove two cards, two rare cards to be able to get um, Popper. Dramatic Entrance is nice. Flash of Steel is nice. Yeah, let's take Dramatic Entrance here and Flash of Steel here. And here I'll take the Impatience. Uh, I guess I'm going to still hope that I can get Popper somehow. Um, let's go this way. So it does mean I have to waste gold to remove the Lesson Learned. I'm not sure if I should have taken it in the first place. I don't think it ended up being very useful. If I lose Popper because of it, I'll be sad. We got two blocks at the Savage Combat. Choose one of three random colors cards and add the chosen card to your hand. I think that's pretty good. It might be hard to get to 50 cards, but I think I'll try it. Let's take Armaments, Cool-Headed. Bullseye is not going to be that useful. If I should take the Good Instincts instead. Or a Swift Potion. That's fine, too. And bust. I mean, I have the uh, the uh, Tungsten Rod, so I'm not going to lose any damage. It's free uh, five uh, damage each turn for all enemies for free, which is fine. I have a little bit of leftover gold. I'm hoping to get another question mark from shop, maybe. Swift Strike is probably fine here. Uh, let's do double energy, chill, dramatic entrance, swift strike, dagger throw. I'll do poison stab. Hopefully the impatience will give me some good attack cards. Yep, pummel strike, and then double defend. Good. Alright, so here I definitely will try to use the feed if I can. 21 incoming. The sword boomerang will kill. Let's do Warcry first. Okay, there is a feed. That's 15, uh, 26. Yeah, strike and feed is enough. Good. All right, uh, Blade Dance is really good, both for the uh, Ornamental Fan and the Shuriken, so let's take that. We upgraded too. Okay. Here, I got the Maw, Dramatic Entrance. I'm not being attacked on turn one, right? Yeah, let's sure, let's take it. All right, uh, I don't think here I'll do double energy, because there's really no reason to. Okay. Hmm. All right, it is the big attack that's unfortunate. Uh, let's do Cold Snap, Armaments. I don't know what I should do with Pommel Strike, but yeah, let's take it. Yeah, I'm not happy with how much HP I'm losing here. Mm -hmm. uh, here, it might be hard to use the feed, but I'll think I'll wait for it. Uh, let me see what this gives me all for one. That uh, gives me a double energy back. That's not bad. Okay. And then I can do Riddle with Holds, Dagger Throw. Combust is fine. Yeah, sure. Okay. Again, free five damage to all enemies. Another big attack. That's unfortunate. Let's do Cloak and Dagger. There's a second win. That might be really useful to get rid of the curse. Okay. And give me a good amount of block. All right. It's a shame that I have to do it all and so far only saw one curse, right? I think... Uh, actually, I should have done Rage here. I think I'll hologram the Blade Dance back because it gives me extra strength and uh, I might save some block for next turn with the um, with the Calipers. Uh, let's do Flash of Steel, Warcry. I think I'll put the follow-up back. I think I should be able to use it. All right, yeah, look at that. 29 block for this turn left over. That's really good. Uh, let's do Strike, follow-up, and I think I'll do Lex Sweep. No, let's do Doom and Gloom. That is enough to be fully defended, and there's a small chance I might be able to feed now. Oh, never mind, the Combust killed. All right, that's fine. Study Triggered FTL. Let's take the study that might allow me to get combo as well, although that will be a challenge to pull off. So it's Nature, Flash of Steel, or Blind. I'm not being attacked in turn one, so let's take Flash of Steel. Study is fine. All right, Flash of Steel, Dramatic Entrance, and Chill. Okay. All right. And here it's 27 incoming. We see what the Flash of Steel gives me. Second wind would get rid of only one card, two cards. That's uh, 14, 16. That's not quite enough. Um, let me do Cold Snap. Then the Swift Potion. All right, I can do Double Energy. Uh, Pummel Strike. Okay, there's Cloak and Dagger. That's really good. Mm -hmm. um, and if I play one more attack, I get... Hang on, so I have 17. I need 27, right? Uh, so if I do... Let's do Carnage to not lose it. Try to rule with those. No, let's do Carnage. Okay. And I have 21. And a one... Yeah, second win with one energy would give me 28. And I need 27. Good. So I can... Well, actually, I don't think I'll do Infernal Blade. Uh, let's instead do just a strike and then second win. Okay. Well, I guess I should have done Infernal Blade because uh, I was going to lose it otherwise. That's fine. Another 27. Uh, let's do Rage. Um, 
insight bash follow up then impatience you would have considered the auto shields huh uh, wait, so 22, 27. I have enough if I do evaluate and hologram. Uh, I guess I can hologram a zero cost card with the Flash of Steel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And not being attacked, that's good. Let's do Blade Dance to gain extra strength. All right. See what the backflip gives me. All right, yeah, let's gain one more point of strength. Okay. No more vulnerability. I sort of wasted that on the Nemesis today. 27. Uh, let's do Insight. Oof. I might have trouble defending here against 27. Can I upgrade something or reshuffle? Let me upgrade the Warcry for extra card draw, then force a reshuffle with that Warcry, actually. All right. Yeah, I don't think I need this. Um, I don't think there's any way I can kill, right? So I have to hope to get a good defensive card. And so far, it's not looking good. Let's get rid of this. Insight. Rule of Tholes is actually 60 damage. It's not too bad, but it's unfortunately not going to be enough. Plus 48. Wait, that's 104. I can kill here, right? Beautiful. All right, perfect this one. That was a lucky break there. We got Happy Flower. Every three turns, get extra energy. Skewer, Reach Heaven, or Empty Fist. Uh, Reach Heaven is fine. Skewer is fine. I think I'll take the Reach Heaven. Okay. I got the Darkness again. It's it's like the, enemy, uh, the uh, Spire is giving me only fights where it's almost impossible to use the feed. Let's do Chill, Dramatic Entrance, Jackal Trades, another one, Apotheosis, that's actually really nice, alright, Infernal Blade gives me Carve Reality, and then I can do a Smite or Study, let's do Study here, sure, I'll accept a little bit of damage, but I might be able to get Combo if I wait a few extra turns, alright, 33 incoming, let's do uh, Dagger Throw, yeah, I'll do Lex Weave, that does mean I will take a little bit of damage here, okay, mm-hmm, all right, 19, uh, let's do Strike, no, uh, Cool Headed first, then Leap, War Cry, okay, and then I can do Defend and, uh, Strike, I should have focused on playing a few attacks to gain more strength, that would have been probably even better, all right, here, Carnage kills anyone, uh, let's do Flash of Steel, then Follow Up, okay, then Carnage to almost kill this one, all right, I can do Pummel Strike. Uh, I messed up. Ah, great, now I got double energy. Yeah, I should have Pummel Strike struck someone that's attacking me. Hmm. Yeah, losing a lot of HP here. Do I still have the feet in my draw pile? I do, okay. Doom and Gloom would kill. Let's see if I can draw the feet. Uh, let's do another insight. Here, let's get rid of the uh, uh, skills. And one more insight. Broken Dagger would kill as well, right? Uh, I will do Combust because basically I think I need to kill this turn. Nope, no feed whatsoever. That's a shame. All right, fine. Let's just work the ring and kill. Could have waited for the combustor. We've got a flex potion, dagger spray, shrug it off, or follow up. Shrug it off is a great defensive card, but I think I'll take the dagger spray because of the extra strength I have. And then, yes, this is actually really nice. So I have to remove the feed to go for popper in. That's a huge shame because I only was able to use it once. Yeah, it happens. I pair up and pick up race from HP by 10. Okay, so I just need to get two more max HP and I'll be able to get the uh, at least well fed modifier. Uh, I don't think I need panic button. Let's take the hand of greed. Um, all right, let's do Chill, Dramatic Entrance. I'll do Reach Heaven and then Hand of Greed. Okay. Yeah, hopefully, the Through Violence will be useful in, at some point. Uh, here, let's do Dagger Spray, Poison Stab, and uh, I guess I have to do Second Wind to be fully defended. All right. Mm -hmm. 53. Let's do Rage, Blade Dance. Okay. And then I'll keep the Through Violence for later. I think here I'll just do uh, Carnage or should I do Cloak and Dagger? Yeah, I don't think I need to save the Carnage. Playing the Cloak and Dagger will give me extra strength, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 63. Yeah, that's why I wanted the extra strength to have the Sword Boomerang right? be more valuable. All right. And then I can fully defend with the Evaluate. And then next turn, I can just use the Through Violence. And uh, Rule with Holds is awesome. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Easy fight here. Mm hmm. We got an Explosive Potion, which, honestly, Flex and Ancient Potion with the Sacred Bark is pretty good. I don't think I need the Explosive Potion. I already have Blade Dance. Upgraded Battle Him it is very tempting. I do have the Time Eater at the end. Yeah, fine. Let's take it. Could be a good good source of damage. Got the Giant Head, who is not attacking me in turn one. Let's take the Panache. Not going to be useful that often, but I don't think I need Hand of Breed here. Let's do Panache, Chill, Dramatic Entrance, Battle Him, and Dagger Throw him. And a strike. Okay. Could have been a better turn, but not bad. I triggered Panache once, so that's good. 
Right, so here, let's try to study. Might not be a bad idea. Let's definitely do Blade Dance to gain extra strength and, uh, well, block, but the strength is more important. Then, uh, see what the Warcry gives me. Um, okay, let's do Sword Boomerang. And then, you know what? Let me do Smite again for extra strength. Okay. 16 incoming. Okay, I have an insight. Is that going to help me? Yes, it is, because I can do three defense to be fully defended. Yep. And then, ugh, too late for the rage. Uh, let's do Poison Stab, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here I do have Leg Sweep, but next turn the big attacks are going to start up. Let's do Bash, Flash of Steel, and then Carnage. That's really nice. Okay. And uh, I do have Smites. Hopefully they will be enough. 33. So I do have Double Energy. That's good. Uh, let me see what the Insight gives me. Secret Wind, or Secret Second Wind, sorry, only gives me 7 block. Not going to be enough. I think I have to try to kill here. So let me use the Flex Potion. Just try to deal as much damage as I can. In terms of energy, I have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can play everything, right? Let's do Armaments. Probably the Smite. Then do Second Wind. Then Cold Snap Follow Up. Actually, that is enough, right? Now I'm not even sure if I needed the Flex Potion. Because I think I was able to deal enough damage there. And Dark Stone Perio, whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max by 6. As if, like, the game wanted me to take more curses. Melter Dropkick Carnage. I already have this. I don't think I need Dropkick. I think I'll take the Melter instead. And then here... Ooh, I could get a curse out of this. Ball Lightning, Flash of Steel. I already have a Flash of Steel. Bash is fine to have. Noxious Fumes is not really necessary. There's a Clumsy. I'm looking for a Clumsy now. Yeah, beautiful. Alright, that gives me extra strength and also enough max HP to get the, uh, well, Fed Modifier, which is useful. Right, and then here I'll upgrade. Do I upgrade this study? No, against the time eater study, it's not going to be that useful. Time, uh, Doom and Gloom is fine. Bash, let's upgrade the Bash. The extra turn of vulnerability will be useful. Okay. And then here I got a final shop. Um, I guess I could remove a curse. I don't think I need to. Yeah. Uh, should I take Cauldron? Might give me some good potions. I don't think I need any of the cards. And, well, I needed to buy four cards, which I could theoretically... No, wait. One, two, three, four. Is that enough? Uh, so, 68, uh, 136. Uh, no, no, that's not enough. So, I can't even buy four cards. Yeah, fine. Let's take the cold and then up and pick up Bruce. Five random potions. I was really hoping for something better. Let's take the flex potion together with the ancient potion. That's good. The dex potion is really nice. Do I want a skill potion instead? No, no, I think I'll just take the dex potion. And then, oh, I could afford... Uh, sorry, I'm, yeah, next potion. I could afford the speed potion. Together with the ancient potion, that might be really good. Yeah, let's take that. That's better, basically. Okay. Hopefully those potions will be enough. Let's see what happens. All right, here I think I'll upgrade the uh, second... Wait, was the second one already upgraded? It must have been. All right. Um, I don't think I need to upgrade the combust, dramatic entrance, dagger throw. Yeah, hard to say. Let's upgrade the armaments, yeah. And whenever you're not sure what to upgrade and you have an armaments, let's upgrade that. All right, Time Eater. Discovery, Flash of Steel, the Bomb. I am being attacked on turn one, so let's take Discovery. Might give me a good defensive card. Although I did get Light Sweep. All right, so here I am going to do the Ancient Potion, then the Speed Potion, and the Flex Potion. So I'm starting off with 15 Strength and 10 Dex. That's really good. All right, so uh, let's do Light Sweep. A little defender already. Battle him. Chill. Discovery gives me Sash Whip, just like your Prey. I don't think I need any of those. Let's take the Sash Whip and do Dramatic Entrance and Sash Whip. Okay. That was a good start. I'm very happy with those potions. Not being attacked. That's good. Uh, let's do Infernal Blade for a Ball Lightning. Should I do Rage? Might not be a bad idea. Let's do Rage. Bash. Ball Lightning. Uh, I need to play two, two cards and I can with Cold Snap and Smite. This way I'll have a little bit of uh, leftover block for next turn. Ooh, 39. That is a lot. Especially if I don't draw any defensive cards. Let's do Pummel Strike. Uh, that's not good. War Cry. Oh boy, that is not good at all. Um, let's put a uh, strike back. Yeah, nothing I can do here, right? The best I can do is what I'm doing here, which gives me only tw uh, 22. I needed at least one of my many defensive cards, and I didn't have it. That's a bummer. Yeah, fine. In that case, the enemy is transforming here, right? I don't think... Can I kill here? That's a lot of damage. That's 120 damage. Yeah, let's just warp boomerang, and then do a gloom. <sighs> what a shame. And I missed the speed light speed modifier. I didn't even realize that. I thought I was playing slow. Uh, 1081, that's actually really low. 
I did not do well here. Out of the seven leads, I perfected only four. None of the bosses was able to get overkill, but I think that cost me a lot of time, right? That that fight at least took like five minutes. So yeah, overkill came at the expense of the light speed modifier. I was able to get Highlander, um, Popper, uh, Librarian was four cards short. If I spent more gold at the shop, I would have been one card short. So yeah, should have gotten an extra card somewhere. Well, Fed just barely. Yeah, this was a little disappointing. I think the game really cheated me by giving me a Juvedal and then basically barely offering me any curses. And yeah, as expected, okay, honestly, I thought I would have been much worse. So I'm 30th right now. It is admittedly early in the day, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if people did poorly, other people did poorly as well. There's Steven here with 1154. That's about 75 points more than me. And then Goldberry has 1232. So that's about um, 150 points more. And the CTAC got 1306. So that is, uh, yeah, 25, 325 points more. So even if I had somehow perfected all the uh, bosses, that would only have given me 200 points for 12th. Uh, 81, right? Uh, is that right? Yeah, 1281. 1281 would have put me in 13th place and then seat. Actually, no, uh, not 300, 225 points. So yeah, and seat, I got an extra 25 points on top of the theoretical uh, maximum of the bosses. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. I just, I don't know what, what my mistake was. I, I, I never was at uh, danger of dying. But I just had no chance of perfecting. And uh, I think maybe if I was slightly more aggressive, maybe I had a crescendo, that final boss fight, I might have been able to kill with that crescendo. But um, yeah, just didn't get the luck that I needed. Anyway, let's review the scores from yesterday. So yesterday was an ironclad run with the all-star purple cards and big game hunter modifiers. I just realized a lot of days in a row again with the all-star, uh, with the ironclad. Uh, so David did really well with 1669. You can check out his Twitch room. He perfected all the elites, uh, all the bosses, got Highlander, missed Overkill though. Was able to get combo, the time modifier, I like Shiny and Insigib I think most people got those modifiers. But yeah, perfecting all the elites and bosses was pretty good. Then you have Cita with 1667. P-Gem got 1644. Vorpal got 1614, Cosmino got 1589, and Cosmino got that score with a very interesting approach. So I think somewhat by accident, Cosmino ended up uh, skipping an elite on Act 3. Um, and I think that was an accident because uh, Malzahn skipped an elite, but he wanted to have hit a shop instead. So I don't think that's what Cosmino did. Now, he because of that skipped elite, he was able to get unique curses, so Highlander and curses. So he mentioned he got that card matching event, the one that I got my second curse today as well. Uh, I don't think anybody else got that though, right? I think you have to skip an elite to get the RNG difference to be able to get at that and that card matching event gave him a regret uh, as well as a purity which i think both were very useful so yeah congratulations very impressive also really interesting that um i think everybody would maximize elites and i think you need to have somebody make a mistake to find out that there is a way to get highland and curses obviously skipping an elite on act three costs you 55 uh, points assuming you can perfect it um but then getting uh, curses is an extra 100 points so that's 45 points more than what you would have been able to get because uh, we also took runic pyramid yesterday uh, which he thought was good together with the corruption and fiend fire so yeah congratulations that's a great score yeah i was ended up with 1569 uh, pelts got 1534 i ended up with 1519 which is not too bad i perfected 10 of the 12 elites but i unfortunately missed the act boss. i just had no chance at all i actually had to reload a bunch of times to survive it um so yeah that was a, definitely a challenge for me i was able to get highland but missed curses of course only saw four unique curses well four curses overall and they were happened to be all unique I was able to get overkill combo stuffed i like shiny and Inscribidian, and missed the time modifier by quite a bit actually and then snow actually mentioned that i kept saying uh, well he thought i was saying uh, transmutation or no transportation instead of transmutation and i was like no no i definitely was saying transportation but then i reviewed my footage and yeah it does sound like i think i'm, I'm blurring the the letters in the middle so uh, every time i say transportation it does sound a little bit like transportation but no i i do want to assure everybody that i did mean transmutation i'll try to enunciate a little more clearly in the future uh, no feminine in the top 80. And then you have Jenny here with 1444, making it top 100. Mike just barely missing top 100 with 1394. And then I did want to get to this page because we have Malzahn with 1339. Malzahn perfected 9 of the 11 elites. So Malzahn was with somebody who skipped an elite on Act 3 on purpose to go for a shop. Uh, but unfortunately, he did get a shop in the question mark room. So it was not worth it in retrospect. Um, and unfortunately, Malzahn missed all the bosses, which is a shame. He took a runic uh, pyramid as well um, and then ended up uh, not really upgrading anything anyway because he was shoveling at rest site. So Fusion Hammer, I think, was the right approach yesterday. And then Malzahn also bought the Red Skull. But with meat on the bone, uh, it was a really hard to use and i think i had the same issue right i had it and it was very difficult to use very difficult to lose a lot of hp and then yeah malzan didn't have a good score but i think he had a fun run uh, had a strong deck and uh, enjoyed it so congratulations and then goldberry got 1317 i did want to shout out to goldberry because today um goldberry did really well anyway that's it for yesterday let me know in the comments what you did for today and i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye